Good afternoon to our awesome kindergartners. Happy Monday to you all. I hope and trust that you've had an awesome weekend and an even greater Monday. It is so good to be here with you all, and I do mean it is so good to be back with you guys again on Monday afternoon for another day of phonics learning the kindergarten way. Let's get ready for phonics instruction. Kindergartners, I don't know if you are aware of this, but time is winding down. Uh, we're very closely, very quickly coming to an end. Not this close, not this close, but I do mean this close to our school year coming to an end, and so I'm so excited. This is gonna be kinda a review lesson for us of all the sounds that we worked on in fourth quarter. And so pretty much we're just gonna kinda go through a little bit of everything on today, okay? Before we begin, kindergartners, I thought that it would be a good idea if we just went through all of our alphabets. If you notice, kindergartners, on your worksheet, there are some letters or some spaces that are blank. And so I'm gonna say the letters that we can see, the visual letters, but I'd like for you to tell me what goes in the blanks. Are you ready? We can sing them or we can say them. It's totally up to you, but I'm just gonna say them, okay? Are you ready? Let's start from our top, cross from our wise or owl, and then we'll work our way all the way down to the bottom. Are you ready, kindergartners? Let us begin. A, C, D, E, G, H, J, L, M, O, Q, R, T, U, V, W, Y, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you say them with me? You guys did an awesome job with those alphabets and helping um, to remember the sequence that they go in. All right, guys, let's go on a little bit farther. As I said it earlier, this lesson is really a review lesson of the sounds that we've learned since we've been out of school. So we're gonna kinda go back and recap the sound that each letter makes, words associated with the sounds, and also how to form those those sounds form those letters because that's really most important, the writing aspect of the sounds that we hear, okay? And then we're gonna wrap it up with reading a text that encompasses all of our letters that we've learned so far for the school year. You ready? Kindergartners, the sounds we're working on or we're reviewing for today are the f, f, f. do you remember that? Voice and unvoice, f, v. Also, v, v. Let's continue on. Y, yeah, as in yield, k -s, that's our X sound, k -s, and qu, qu, as in queen. Let's go back to those sounds. Sounds that we're reviewing in our lesson for today, the f, v, voice and unvoiced, f, w, v, v, y, yeah, as in yield, k -s, that's our X sound, and as in quilt. Great job. Kindergartners, before we go any further in our lesson, let's see if we can practice writing these letters. Now we're gonna use these letters and we're gonna write them the Danilian way, where we're only gonna focus on the lowercase letters, okay? So are you ready? Go ahead and get your dry erase boards, your pencil, your paper, if you wanna use your finger to write in the air shaving cream, any resource that you've used to help you this week or since we've been out of school to help you write, go ahead and grab it and we're gonna practice how to form these letters. This is just review, and I know you know, but let's review it. Are you ready? We'll start with the v sound. V. We're only gonna focus on just the unvoiced this time, okay? So are you ready? Here's our v. This is the way that we write it. We have the letters T and the letters H. So here's our lowercase version of the v sound. Here you go. And we have our H. There's our v sound. Let's move on. Our next one, w, w. You ready? Here's our w. Here's our lowercase w. Simply we go down, up, around, down, and up again. Got it? All right. Let's practice our v. V, v. Here we go, guys. Simply we go down and up. That's our V. We're down and then we're up. Let's practice our Y. Are you ready? Remember Y says, yeah, yeah. 
Do you hear it in yams? Let's try it. You ready? We go down, around, up, down, and Y has a tail to it. So don't forget the tail in the letter Y. Yeah, as in yam. Our next letter, let's look at this one. This one is kind of sassy. I call it the sassy letter because of the way that it is made. This is the letter X, the K. You ready? We simply go down and we bring it down again. There's our X. X also has a tail on the end of it. That's our X, our K sound. And then our last one, guys, is the Q sound. That's the letters Q and U put together. You ready? Qu. Qu. Did you get it? Kindergartners, let's review these letters and these sounds. Are you ready? Let's start with our first. Our first one is what? Mm -hmm. Letters T and H. What's our next one? What? What? Our next one? Mm -hmm. What about this one? Yeah, yeah, you're right. What about this one? K -s -k -s. Sounds almost like a snake sound or a snake speaking or something. And then our very last sound? Qua, qua, as in quilt or queen. Good job, guys. You all did a great job. Were you able to form your letters or write your letters on your paper? Good, great job, great job. And remember, kindergartners, I said it's simply just a review, so it's nothing to um, stress you out. I know you guys already know, so I just simply wanted to review. Kindergartners, let's see if we can say those sounds that each letter make. Are you ready? I'm gonna show these cars, hold up these cars, and you give me the sound. You ready? Let's begin. Yeah. What about this one? What, what? What about this one? as if someone has hit you in your stomach, uh, uh. What about this one? T, t. This one, qua, qua. Here's our special sound, our sassy sound, k, -s, k -s. That's X. What about this sound? Uh-huh, as in vest. It's Mr. Jackson has on a vest, v. What about this one? Uh-huh as in hand or heart. And our last sound, yeah, yeah, as in yard or yes, yeah, yeah. Great job, kindergartners. I am so proud of you guys. I'll put those to the side. Kindergartners, give me your ears as you listen to these words. I'll say the words, you listen as I say these words. Are you ready? Wa, wa, watermelon. You're listening for the initial or first sound. V, v, vest. Qua, qua, queen. Thief, that's our unvoiced TH sound. Thief. Yeah, yeah, yam. Those are my favorites. I love sweet yams, especially when they are bacon. I'll eat them raw too, but I love sweet yams. And our last one. Listen for that final sound, b ox, b ox, x. The x sound or the k sound you hear in the word box. Did you hear those sounds, kindergartners? Let's go over them again. We have first picture, th th thief. Underneath the thief, we have the what? Wa wa watermelon. At the very top, in the middle, what do we have? The vest. Good job. At the very bottom, what do we have? Our sweet yams, yams. What about at the top? We have our what? Qua, qua, queen. And at the very bottom, the final sound you hear in this word is k -s, as in what? Box, box, box. Great job, kindergartners. You guys are so awesome. Great job. We're going to play our game as we always do. Nothing has changed. You're gonna be listening for the correct sound you hear as an initial sound or an ending sound. I'll do that again. As an initial sound, our initial sound is our first sound or our final sound or ending sound, which is our last sound in the words that I say. If you hear the sound in the word, you're gonna give me thumbs up. If you don't hear it, thumbs down. I'll say that again. If you hear it, thumbs up, as you see on our picture. If you don't hear it, Thumbs down, okay? 
I'm going to give you the sound before I give you the word. If you hear it, thumbs up. If you don't hear it, thumbs down. Are you ready, kindergartners? Our first one, our first word. Yeah, yeah. Yap, yap. Kindergartners, do you hear the y yeah sound and the word y yap, yap? You gave me thumbs up. Let's see if we are correct. And there's our word, kindergartners. If you notice, the first letter in the word yap is actually color coded red. So that tells me, yes, you should have heard the y yeah sound in the word yap. And you gave me thumbs up. You were absolutely correct. And I found out that a yap is actually a type of a home. It's like an Indian dwelling house. And so that was something very unique that I learned about a yap. That is actually a real word. It's not a nonsense word as I thought, but it is a real word. Yap, yap. All right, kindergartners, listen to this word. And you've had this one before. V vet, v vet. Do you hear the V sound in the word v vet? All right, you gave me thumbs up. Let's see, you guys are making this easy. There's our veterinarian or our vet. You gave me thumbs up. And guess what, kindergartners? You are correct. Notice my first letter in the word vet. V is color coded what? Red. So that tells me that you guys were correct. V vet. V says v. Do you hear it in vet? Great job. Listen for this one. Our next one, or our next word, queen. 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 And I'm sorry, it's not queen. Let me change that. The word is wig. 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 Do you hear the what sound in wig? W -w wig. You do. Let's see if you guys were correct. You gave me thumbs up, and there's all our beautiful models with their different wigs on. Let's see. Wah, wah, wig. Notice, kindergartners, that first letter is what color? Red. My other letters are in black, so that tells me that, yes, you were correct. The what sound is the initial sound or the first sound you hear in the word wig. Wah, wah, wig. And we wrote our W, so you guys were absolutely correct. Let's go on. Let's move on. Our next word. Lax, lax, lax. Do you hear the L sound as the initial sound in the word lax, lax, lax? You do, and you're right. But actually, Mr. Jackson's wrong. You should have heard the, we're listening for the X sound at the end of the word. Lax, lax. I'll say it again. Lax. Lax. All right, you guys gave me thumbs up. There it is. Lax, lax. You gave me thumbs up. And I should have done that wrong. I was incorrect, guys. And so it should have been thumbs down because I was right. It was the, the first sound should have not been. I said, ooh, but it was actually our ending sound. So I do apologize for that. Y'all forgive me. But very good. If you heard the sound at the end, you were not wrong. You were correct. That was my fault. All right, guys, our next word. And we are listening for the ending sound this time. The TH sound at the end of the word teeth, teeth, teeth. Do you hear the TH sound at the end of the word teeth, teeth? You do. Let's see. There's our pretty teeth. You guys gave me thumbs up and you were correct. Notice my two, last two letters are color coded red. So that tells me the sound is a final sound or ending sound that you hear in the word teeth, teeth. Great job, great, great, great. Kindergartners, let's get ready to blend some words. Are you ready? Here we go. Our word is, first word, ready? You got your tappers ready? Let's begin. Vet, v et. Here we go. Let's blend it. V et vet. Let's do it again. V et vet. Is that what you guys did? The word is vet. V et vet. I don't know about you, but this is what I heard when I blended the word vet. I heard v e t. V et v e t vet. 
That's what I heard. Let's see if we were correct. We were. Our initial sound in the word vet is v. v. Let's get ready for another word. You ready? Okay. <laughs> our word is with. 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 Are you ready? And remember that th sound is going to only have one touch. You ready? With. Let's do it again. With. With. I don't know about you, but this is what I heard. W-I-T-H. I'll say it again. W-I-T-H. With. With. Let's see if we were correct. And we were kindergartners. Our next word, you ready? Wed. 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 What did you guys hear? W-E-D. Wed. Let's see if we were correct or if we're correct. I heard that wa sound. W-E-D. Wa e e short e d d d wed wed great job let's move on kindergartners now we're going to write some words are you ready let's see how well you guys do with writing these words our first word kindergartners that we're going to write is the word yon yon i'll blend it for you yon 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 write it and kindergartners, this is what you should have written for the word yawn. You ready? Is that what you wrote? You did. Great job. Let's see if we're correct. And we are. Yawn. 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 Our next word, here we go again, that tricky word. The word is lax. Lax. That any sound on the word lax. Are you ready? I'll blend it for you. Ooh, ax, ooh, ax, a, short A. Write it. And kindergartners? That's what you should have written. Ooh, ax, great job, great job. And let's look at our last one. Quit, quit. You ready? Quit. And I'm going to put that Q-U together. Qu-it. Quit. I'll do it again. Qu-it. Quit. Write it. Ready? Here we go. Quit. Boys and girls, let's read our words. Are you ready? Let's begin. Yawn. Lax. And quit. Let's do it again. Yawn, lax, and quit. Let's read them from the bottom up. Quit, lax, and yawn. Great job. Kindergartners, let's get ready for our sentence dictation. Are you ready? And we have written those words, and they are absolutely awesome. Our sentence for today, kindergartners, is, who saw the buck with them? Who saw the buck with them? And a buck is a type of a male deer or uh, I think a caribou or some type of male reindeer. Who saw the buck with them? Are you ready? Let's pound it out. Let's begin. Who saw the buck with them? Let's do it again. Who saw the buck with them? All right, we know why we pound our sentence. Why do we pound our sentence? So we'll know how many words should be in our sentence. I don't know about you, but let me do it again. Who saw the buck with them? I know I pounded. it. Who saw the buck with them? Six times. Is that how many times you pound it? You did. Now notice, kindergartners, there are some words that are in red. Those are your high frequency words that you guys should already know how to write. Who saw the, and so the only words that you will need to, to, to do on your own would be the word buck, with and them, and we have worked on those sounds, okay? So are you ready? Go ahead and write it. And while you guys are writing it, I'm gonna write it as well. Who saw the buck with them? And always remember, kindergartners, good sentences always begin with a capital letter and end with the punctuation mark. So don't forget your punctuation mark at the end, and this sentence just happened to be a sentence that asks a question. It's important to know the the, type of, the proper types of punctuation mark so we'll know how to read the sentence correctly. Who saw the buck with them? Ready? I'm going to write. 
who saw the buck with them. And I'm putting my question mark at the end, kindergartners. See what I've done? Who saw the buck with them? Who saw the buck with them? Is that what you guys wrote? Great job if you did. Who saw the buck with them? And remember, kindergartners, these were our sounds that we worked on, our review sounds. We had the th sound, voiced and unvoiced. Th th the w sound. W says, what do you hear it in wait? What about V? V says, v, do you hear it in vanilla? What about this one? Y says, yeah, do you hear it in yam? Our last one, or next to our last sound, k sound, that's our sassy sound. In the word lax, or in the word box, and then our final sound, qu qu same sound you hear at the beginning of the word queen, or quilt, quilt. Great job, kindergartners. Kindergartners, I have so, I do have a little bit extra to do, but I'm, I'm, I'm so excited. I better stop there. Um, and I'm so looking forward to seeing you guys on next week. Um, in your packet, you had a sheet that was full of all kinds of um, activities that you guys could actually write words with these sounds. Go ahead and make sure that you do that and turn that into your teachers, as I'm sure that that is probably one of the things that they're going to want to take a grade on because it is such a phenomenal review um, for kindergartners. So please, if you can, go ahead and get to that. I have so enjoyed you guys on today. Um, you all have been absolutely phenomenal. And until next Monday, kindergartners, don't forget our sounds. V, w, v, y, x, qu. Did you get it? You did? All right, kindergartners, you guys rock. And once again, I'm so proud of you all and all the awesome things that you have been doing. You guys have a great evening. Bye-bye.